When we had last left the Spacefarer, they had finally resolved the Spacer situation among the three surviving families. Who really didn't give a shit about the other fourth family that was now wiped out in some way, it seemed. Nobody really knew exactly what happened to them, but it was assumed that they died horribly. Now they traveled back to Jemison, back to do an interview for the broadcasting network of SSNN, who also sought out to get their help with doing reporting down in the well, where it was too dangerous and scary to send a regular reporter. And so on the scene did they interview a whole bunch of people and were now prepared to send back the interviews and also maybe do some work for those people that they interviewed. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Here we go. Let us do exactly that. And in between videos, I did finally do a little bit of inventory management. And, uh... Whoa! Oh my gosh, of course they have... They had that in Skyrim, right? But not a, the exact weapon, right? I don't think so. Huh. I can't believe we hadn't heard that until now. We're like 50 plus videos deep into the playthrough. Well over 50 hours as well. Okay. Let's head to the spaceport. There we go. Good, good, good. Great. And then we'll head over. Oh. Every time I see just like a generic citizen or whatever standing by an entryway or whatever, I keep thinking that they they have something for me, right? <laughs> it's like Skyrim's couriers or whatever have, have permanently destroyed my ability to perceive the world. If I see someone just waiting there, looking even somewhat expectantly, I assume that they will have a delivery or a quest for me or something. <laughs> okay. There we go. Commercial district. Great. Good, good, good. Okay, cool. And after I think we do these two jobs, these two missions, we will, I think we'll finally hit up the Vanguard, right? And a lot of folks have, in the interim time of us being introduced to them, have remarked that they joined up and they do give you uh, some background or whatever, right? They give you some, some in-universe lore, which I'm very much always into. Back. Here to report anything else? Yeah. If you have a new story for me, I'm very happy to pay your fee. Right. Well, I did all of that work you wanted me to do. I finished interviewing the business owners in the well for you. Hey, that's great. Thanks so much. Did everything go all right? Everything was fine. Things seemed pretty bad down there. I get why your bosses didn't want to send you down there. Everything was fine. Glad to hear it. I'm looking forward to reading through your notes. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. <laughs> There's nothing like seeing your name in print. Okay. There we go. 50 XP. Nice. Back to the grind. Okay. Can we chat with Administration's David come Baron? and go in the big city, but SSNN is here to stay. We're close to the action here in New Atlantis. Prime position to report on the big stories that affect the United Colonies. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Alright, let's track some of these things that we had picked up. Reliable care. Yeah, the nurse. When I spoke to Nurse O'Shea while interviewing her for Nadia Mafaz's story, she mentioned there may she mentioned there have been a lot of sick children at her clinic lately. I'd like to see if there's anything I can do to help. Okay. Let's head on back down. Good. Alright. Head over to here. Back to the spaceport. Good. Did she call me another badge? Have I have I already formally joined up with UC Security? I know I've done some work for them, but I don't think they're my like official employer, are they? I don't think so. Unless <laughs> they talk about Andresia. <laughs> okay. Let's 
go over here. The well. Good, good, good. You know, they call it the well because New Atlantis, the well. Everything is water related. Okay. Oh, shit. I wasn't even holding spacebar. There we go. I don't actually like the Maybe a jacket. <laughs> and some stock. Okay. <laughs> Alright, sure. Best watch Let's your see. pockets around me. Just say. Oh shit. It's fucking Rick. He's gonna steal all my shit. He's gonna like put a whole bunch of poop in my pockets. <laughs> I help out Henry from time to time. Not very often. Where am I days. fucking going? But that's fine. Okay, and it ruined the plot. Damn, someone's ruining the plot. Oh, do we have to go up? My tracker is suddenly like gone kaput. Oh dear lord! <laughs> How do I get to it? Oh fuck. I'm not gonna be stuck in this place for long. All I need is some grace. That Varun Embassy building is such an eyesore. Why don't they just tear it down already? Is that just how things are? I wonder why they don't. Huh. Maybe they're complied not to by way of um, similar to the Armistice. I've okay. got limited resources, but I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. Here's a question as well. It just occurred to me. Did House Varun, when did they start existing? Did they come to be after the Colony War? Because you don't hear anything about their own involvement in the Colony War at all. It's purely UCVFC, you know? Did they only come into existence post-Colony War? Okay. We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Talia. Three gunshots this week alone. I guess we know where UC Security's priorities are, and aren't. Damn, hell yeah, tell him. I'd like to help you out with the sick children in your clinic. Oh, you remembered. I'm touched, dear, really. Yes, there's absolutely something you can do to help. All the children seem to have the same stomach bug, but I'm having trouble diagnosing it. Pediatrics isn't my specialty. But one of my colleagues, Dr. Lebedev, is an expert. If I had his research notes, I'm sure I could diagnose the disease and find a treatment. Do you know where Dr. Lebedev might be? He works topside at Reliant Medical. It's easy to find. It's right between Mast and Reliant oh. Tower. Dr. Lebedev is always there. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me more about this situation? I've seen an uptick in cases of sick children in the medbay recently. They all seem to be presenting the same symptoms, but I can't identify the cause. It isn't serious enough to kill them, but I haven't found an effective treatment yet. That has me worried. All right, well, I can get the notes for you. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I can't leave the med bay unattended. All right. Let's head on over here. Good, good, good. And then we'll go speak with the doctor. This may be like a set of fairly, I don't know, innocuous quests, you know? Okay, up and over here. I forget, did we ever end up reading this shit? We did, didn't we? Yeah, we did, 100%. I remember now. I tell you, coffee is the only thing that gets me through the day. I'd be lost without Terra Brew. Oh, absolutely. I wonder where they make it. You know? Maybe they have a hydroponics somewhere. That said, depending on the climate of Jemison, it might actually be perfect for making coffee. It could be. If it's warm. 
21 degrees Celsius, I guess. <laughs> if, if it were Fahrenheit, uh, it'd look a little weird. Okay. Let's go find Lebedev. Good? We're here to help. good, good, good. It feels very weird that Reliant Medical is just this little tiny clinic. <laughs> right? Well, I guess it's, it's, yeah, it's this whole building. We just can only ever see Lebedev's office, right? Because we're technically taking doctor office diagnosis. Well, no. It's not an elevator, is it? Yeah, weird. I don't know. Right? You'd think that they would have a building the size of at least the clinic that we went to, you know? Welcome to Reliant Medical. If you're injured or sick, we can almost certainly assist you. Okay. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Nurse O'Shea sent me to ask for your help with a medical issue. A medical problem Talia can't solve. I never thought I'd see the day. How can I help? Do you and Nurse O'Shea know each other very well? We've been professional acquaintances for a long time. She's an excellent nurse. If the well didn't need her so badly, I'd have offered her a job here ages ago. Well, some children in the well have caught a stomach bug, and Nurse O'Shea needs help diagnosing it. Sick children? Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. I'm sure I have something that can help. Whoa. Ah, yes, here we go. This should do the trick. I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients to this slate. Please pass it on to Talia. She can keep it. And give her my best, will you? I hope everything works out for those kids. Oh. Okay. Can we have a peek on them? It's a copy of Dr. Lebedev's notes on the diagnosis and treatment of gastrointestinal diseases in pediatric patients. It's mostly indecipherable medical jargon. Okay. Sure. Let's head on out over here. Good, good, good. Did I ever end up grabbing C-grade piloting? Did I ever end up doing that? Let me just double check. Because we do have that access point. I think I did. Yeah, look. It's got a... Well, no. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Anytime the art sort of clips out of the patch, that's how you know it's the final one. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, well, let's haul ass on back. Good lord. I know, like, evidently sending information across various systems is complicated. You know, because sure you could have, you know, uh, like something like the internet and that be planet wide. But getting it to be across a system or multiple systems is more of a feat than you would think. But how, how... How do they not just have emails here on the New Atlantis? <laughs> right? How do they not just have that set up for, you know, the biggest UC... I don't know, civ Like, city. Ever. They're always about a million. Okay. Hey. If you need patching up, we'll see what we can do. I have the research notes he needed from Dr. Lebedev. Really? Let's see. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved in no time with these notes for reference. Thank you so much, dear. Really. I couldn't have done this without you. Okay. Great. 50 XP and some money. Alright, let's track this other one then. Suspicious activities. Teresa Mason suspects that some of her customers might be planning to rob the UC surplus. I should talk to her and find out what I can do to help. 
Yeah, maybe I can help them rob it. In fact, I think that maybe I have robbed it as well. <laughs> I think I maybe did a little bit of robbery. Always nice to see a fresh face around Hey, here. about that robbery situation? Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Well, Understand? I'd like... To, oh, yeah. No causing trouble in here. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. I'd like to help you figure out what those suspicious customers are up to. Would you? I I'd really appreciate it. I saw them hanging around the UC surplus earlier today. They sure looked suspicious to me. I'll head straight to the security office and report them. I'll take care of them before they can cause any trouble. What makes you think they're up to something? What makes you think? They've been coming here regularly for the last couple weeks, and all they do is sit on the balcony and watch the UC surplus. I thought I heard them mention a robbery, but I'm not sure. They seem to know I'm onto them, so they stop talking about it when I'm around. Well, I'll take care of them before they can cause any trouble. That's not how I want this handled. Kay's place is the only safe haven in the well. I can't condone violence. I'm not going to kill them. If handle them, it should be security. But I have to be sure they're up to something before I get the authorities involved. Exactly. I don't want to get anyone on security's bad side for no reason. Why don't you do a little sleuthing for me? Maybe you'll have better luck eavesdropping on them than I did. That's what because I meant, Han. Why did you think I was going to kill him? Come on. Except for all the other times I've killed people. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see. But she doesn't know that. She doesn't know my fucking body count. All right. I don't know, Isaac. It seems like a tough joint to crack. Nah, that's just what they want you to think, Louie. You see, you see security around here? No, but, but nothing. I say we strike while the iron's hot. I got a feeling that goody two-shoes at Kay's place is gonna rat us out. She was giving us some serious side-eye last time we were in there. See, no time like the present. We'll do it tonight. It'll be fine, trust me. We'll be in and out in time to make last call at Jake's. If we pull this off, we'll be swimming in credits. I've never seen anybody else try something like this. You gotta trust me. We'll be fine. I, if you say so, Isaac. Frick's info is good. So Rick. Cake. I sure hope we can make it happen. I've just about had enough of you doubting me, Louie. Wow, how much do they have to say? <laughs> I guess I, I need to work on my self-confidence. If we can make this happen, we'll be real big shots around here. That's a pretty big if. Hey, I thought you were on my side here. I have a real bad feeling about this. If we can make this happen, we'll okay, be okay. Real big can shots I talk to him? Here. Hey, Isaac, sure Louie. I heard about your arranged. arrangement. I've just about had enough of you doubting me, Louie. Hey. We're having a private conversation here. Get lost. It sounds like that conversation might have been about robbing this place. Sorry, I'll leave you to it. Do you know anything about this shop? What, know anything? Some kind of tourist? It's the UC surplus. They sell old military crap. Sounds like that conversation might have been about robbing this place. And I want in. Robbing the place? <laughs> what, you crazy? Couple of sweet faced guys like us? Not a chance. Get your ears checked, pal. <laughs> yeah, 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 get your ears checked. Besides, if we're gonna rob the place, it's not like we talked to you about it. I mean, who'd, who'd plan a robbery in the middle of the street, right? Louie, so help me. If you say one more word, I'll drag you topside and drown you in the waterfall. And you, I thought I told you to get lost. Stay out of our business, or you'll be the one getting robbed. <laughs> I, guess I, I wish there was a persuasion confidence. check to be like, okay, now let me in on it. Swimming in credits. Move on, if you know it's good for you. I sure hope we can make it happen. Okay. You gotta trust me. How are they gonna get in here, though? Fine. I have a real bad feeling about I this. I need a key. Frick's info is good. So is this not you see surplus right here anybody else try something or like do this. they mean this yeah I don't know what that is back there well if we just rob it first then 
I mean, we've we definitely already have in a in a sense. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah, look at all this shit. Okay. Ooh, a master safe. All right. Hmm. Good lord. What a fucking task. Let's do an auto slot. Okay, does that fit right there? It does. Perfect. I'll do another auto slot. Speed things up. Right there. Great. And then that may work, but do we have another solution for... Right there. Hmm, not quite. I mean, I guess we could... Well, can I do one of these numbers? Yeah, I could. And I could put in a single. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Okay. Hmm. I'll put another single one right there. Good. Oh, modified arc welder. Can I just take this and sell this off at the Succeed trade authority? Before we are discovered. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Andresia. <laughs> I can just... I'll just take these over to the fucking trade authority, dude. <laughs> oh my god. I can't fucking help it. I love stealing shit. Okay. Anything else? Oh yeah, more. Okay. We miss anything? I think we got it all. You can't access this vent, can you? No. Alright. You ask oh. me, the real new Atlantis is down here. Oh, yeah, this is the real new Atlantis, for sure. Oh my god. There are three micro guns right there. I thought you were on my side here. Look, you can hear him from inside the store. <laughs> you can hear him talking about robbing the store from inside the store. <laughs> Okay, look, if anything, there's got to be some degree of negligence on behalf of what's-his-name, you know? It's, it's like, what the fuck? It's, it's the boots. It's the cursed boots. They're back getting them again. All right. Teresa Mason. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else. Okay, can we talk? If you haven't, make sure you say hello to Mama. She likes checking in with everyone. We can only rat them out. You were right. Those people are definitely planning to rob the UC surplus. Damn. I was hoping I had it wrong. <sighs> I guess that settles it. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. Understood. I'll head straight to the security office. We don't need security. I can take a couple of petty thieves. Where can I find the security office? Do you and Officer Endler know each other well? Where can I find the security office? Head out the door and turn left. It's all the way at the end of the street. You can't miss it. Do you and Officer Endler know each other well? Sort of. He's a regular customer and I've reported crimes to him before. He's more fair-minded than most of the well security officers. Maybe I can say that I can take him. I mean, there's no way she's going to let me do it, though, right? Maybe I can say that I'll take care of him. I'll just be like, y'all got to get out of here. You all go to fucking Aquila or something. I can take care of a couple of petty thieves. No, I don't want you to hurt them. They haven't even done anything wrong yet. The last thing the well needs is more violence. Just do what I asked and take this to Officer Endler. 
Yeah, they haven't even done anything yet. So you want me to <laughs> you want me to fucking call the cops on them? They What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Come on. What is this minority report? All right. That's a pretty big if. Listen, fellas, fellas. I've just about had enough of you doubting me. We actually have a bit of an option here. Hey, if I got to tell you to get out of here one more time, pal, you're toast. I know you're trying to rob the UC surplus. So what if we were? The hell you gonna do about it, huh? Careful, Isaac. This guy looks pretty tough. I'm gonna report you to security. I'm here to stop you, whatever it takes. I don't have time for this. I'm leaving. <laughs> Maybe we should fuck him up. Maybe we should just start killing him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to stop you, whatever it takes. Is that a threat, pal? Yeah, it is. I'm giving you one more chance to back off. Watch it. You have no idea who you're messing with. I didn't mean it like that. I'm giving you one more chance to back off. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a second-rate spacer like you. <laughs> hey, you want to fight? I'm all in. Come on, Louie. Let's show this clown who the real tough guys are around here. Too much for me. Oh my gosh. Andre just <laughs> she just fucking wipes him out instantly. All right. Is that everyone screaming in horror? And they didn't even checking. have this key. I don't know what you might find in their pockets. <laughs> Holy shit. Listen to the audio. Wow. Ambient audio that changes based on that, huh? Okay, we probably won't keep it because there's no way for us to like actually persuade them and talk them out of it, it seems. Right? At least from from our vantage point. Maybe there is a way to do it. Right? But let's at least see what she has to say. <laughs> oh, I want to hear how angry she gets. Okay. So, how to go with Officer Endler? Oh, can we lie to her? <gasps> <laughs> we can lie to her? This is where we have the player agency, not with them? We don't have the option to be like, yeah, persuade check. You all get out of here. And then and then they're like, oh, yeah, tough guy. You're going to have to tell me a little more. And then a little meter shows them. And it's like, you're taking a bad tone with me. You wouldn't want to mess with me today. And like, whoa, easy. You're one tough customer. I guess we'll go to Aquila. <laughs> Those thieves won't bother you anymore. I took care of them. Oh, everything was just fine. I was on my way to make a report when the thieves attacked me out of nowhere. <laughs> they just attacked me out of nowhere. And you couldn't run to the security office, huh? You just had to take care of it yourself. <laughs> I can't believe you. I thought I made it clear I wanted security to handle this. Things should never have ended like this. Thanks for nothing. Oh my gosh. You're kind of spacing out on me here. Yeah, I'm kind of spacing out, you know? I became like a spacer. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> All right, let's quick load. She has such faith that uh, UC security is going to handle it differently. Incredible. <laughs> I've just about had enough okay. of doubting me, Louis. Let's go over here and see how this pans out. People joke. Say those maroon zealots worship a snake. Let me tell that. you, it ain't a snake. It's hey, kind of Carson Endler. Interesting way to stand. Never a dull day for security <laughs> in the world. Something I can help you with. Uh, yeah, Carson, I have a crime to report. <sighs> well, that's what we're here for. What's going on? Actually, it's not a crime. It's a crime that's about to happen. <laughs> it's a crime that I think is going to happen. There's going to be a robbery at the UC Surplus. The UC Surplus? You sure about that? It's been a long time since someone was stupid enough to rob that place. Teresa Mason asked me to make the report, I'm sure. I heard them planning it myself. Why don't people try to rob the UC Surplus? Well, it's probably because they have a shitload of weapons. It's a military outfit for one thing. Most criminals don't want to make an enemy of the UC. Oh. The guy who runs It is actually team, run by the government. Twice too. about shooting a would-be thief. 
All right, well, Teresa and Mason asked me to make the report, I'm sure. That's so. <laughs> Nobody in the well is more reliable than Teresa. If she says there's a problem, I believe it. You can tell her I'm personally looking into it. That's your needs of mine. Those thieves won't be so cocky with security on patrol. All right. Good lord. I really do not like that we couldn't resolve it in another way. Or at the very least, join them. Right? I would have... In an ideal world, not only are we able to resolve it by, like, getting them to stop, but ideally, I would want to join them. Oh, look. They're on the move. Oh, it's about to happen right now. <laughs> Jeez. You, you're doing it right now? Right after I'm walking through here? They're gonna know that it was Thanks me. For the tip. Yeah, they're gonna come back and break my fucking kneecaps or something. These guys are unhinged. They were planning a robbery in broad daylight in the middle of the street. <laughs> Who knows what they're capable of? <laughs> officer, officer! <laughs> Alright. Don't take it personal. Teresa. Don't stop to chat. Lots to do, not nearly enough hands to do it all. That was quick. How'd things go with Officer Endler? You're not going to believe it. He went and killed them. <laughs> he, he said to tell you that he's going to patrol the area himself. He said he'd patrol the area to make the thieves nervous. He seemed suspicious at first, but he agreed to handle it. He seemed suspicious at first, but he agreed to handle it. Don't take it personally. Endler's not usually one to trust strangers. That's why I told you to use my name if he gave you any trouble. I'm glad you were able to talk him into it. Thanks for your help with this. I feel a lot better knowing security's on patrol down there. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Though from the sound of it, she was even like, most of security, I don't trust. Right? Like, what happens when he's off the clock? You know? What the fuck? Can we follow him over here? Oh, here they are. If you're looking for a tracker, you've come to the right place. Oh. If not, well... Yeah. I've got nothing. Hey, what's up with you? I got a bad feeling. Security knows what we're up to. That plan's a bust. Listen, you two. Your last plan, I overheard a bit of it. I'm not gonna lie. And it's a damn shame that it went bust, right? But you all need a, someone with a little bit more of a repertoire of skills on your side. That's right. For the low, low price of 1,500 credits, I'm willing to break into UC Surplus myself and get you all whatever you want. <laughs> Someone ratted us out. Man. All right. Hey, what about you? I had no idea you were over here. Hey, you looking at getting into bounty hunting for the Trackers Alliance? Get yourself set up with a job from one of the mission boards in town. Not everyone's cut out for this line of work, but you'll be fine and get paid as long as you follow our motto, show no mercy, leave no quarter. Nobody else told me that motto, I don't think, did they? Can you tell me more about mission boards and where to find them? Certainly. You'll find mission boards in every major city and some of the smaller settlements as well. You can use them to find many types of jobs, including Trackers Alliance bounty missions. More often than not, they'll be near spaceports. Check the bars where travelers and freelancers like yourself might frequent. A word of advice. Mission boards are guaranteed payment upon completion of the job. You can rely on them, unlike some of the bar flyers who might offer sketchy jobs. Yeah, but the sketchy ones are the most fun. What is the Trackers Alliance? We are, quite simply, an alliance of bounty hunters. Some of us share resources, some of us go it alone. But the organization makes it easier for us to do our jobs. If you and go it alone, what's the point work? of it being an so alliance? So that rather than you know? being paid vigilantes, we are part of the system. Hmm. Various people approach the alliance looking for those living on the land. We use our unique skills to find and deal with them. What's the legality of this, you know? Huh. Like, it does sound almost like vigilanteism, except they, they're, they've they formed a conglomerate in some way, and thus, therefore, it's, there's legality is not a problem. Got any good bounty hunting stories? I've got one I don't mind sharing with you. There was one time I had to track down one of our own, someone I once called friend. She'd gone rogue, 
We have lists of our members, and their contact information kept secret for obvious reasons. This one. She had hacked into our systems and began to distribute lists to the highest bidders. You can imagine many people would kill to have this information. So I had to track her and stop her before she could make the first delivery. I thought you were about to say, so I had to kill her. Someone hired me to it's kill and get the information. <laughs> your tactics and techniques. But I found her. And when I did, oh. I silenced her for good. Okay, killed anyway. Goodbye. Goodbye. Great talk. Really cheery and chipper. Okay. Well, let's see. Then we have to, you know what? We've been working for cops. What's a little bit more, right? Let's <laughs> fuck it. Sergeant Yumi, I think, wanted to talk to me again. Let's fucking go and do that. <laughs> Why the hell not? <laughs> All right. Head on over here. Good. Go to the spaceport. See what else Sergeant Yumi wants me to do, if anything. Maybe I'll get, like, a medal. I'll become a decorated officer or some shit. <laughs> okay. Run over and pick up some donuts from the Terra Brew. <laughs> what the fuck? God, too bad you can't. Are there no donuts anymore in this fucking universe? We got sweet rolls. How are there no donuts? Come on. What are we doing? Let's get over here. There we are. Their posters look so fucked up. <laughs> it's so, it's so like RoboCop. <laughs> okay. Ah, if it isn't my favorite part-time security officer. Crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. How are the day-to-day -day operations going? Uh, it's a lot of work, as always. People like to say, New Atlantis is the safest city in the settled systems. How hard could your job be? Well, safety doesn't happen by accident. It takes a lot of work and a lot of people. I'm looking for work if you have any. Yep. Something just came in. Scuffle over at the Dawn's Roost. Oh, unique security on site handled it, but now one of them is saying the other guy stole his wedding ring. Problem is... He left without identifying the perp, so I need you to talk to Royce Elgin at the Don's Roost. See if you can fill in the gaps. I can do that for you. I don't have time right now. Why did he leave without identifying the assailant? Men like him aren't very generous with their time. They want you to solve a case without ever having to lift a finger themselves. Not that he'd be much of a witness, given that he was still half drunk when he got here and somehow even more so when he left. Sorry, wrong word. Rich people don't get drunk, they get inebriated. Which is another way of saying highly unreliable. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sure, I can do that for you. Good. Report back here when the matter's resolved. Okay. Anything else I should know about the case? According to the patron, the ring is valuable, but if I had to guess, not for sentimental reasons. Normally, when someone loses a valuable keepsake, they're heartbroken. The way this guy was acting, it's almost as if he lost a wallet full of creds. Well, what's Dawn's Roost? A restaurant over in the residential district. Caters to a very fancy clientele. It's the kind of place where forks come in different sizes, depending on the food. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. Sure, let's head on over. You know, let's go help out an inebriated rich guy get his stuff back. Cop shit. <laughs> right? We gotta protect these rich people's property and all that. You know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> Jeez, who do you think's paying us? <laughs> it ain't the poors! <laughs> what the fuck? There we go. Residential district, baby. Here we go. Good shit. My god. 
<laughs> you know, if anything, this perfectly sets up j us joining the, the UC <laughs> formally, right? What, what a great opportunity okay. after these quests to, to just sign right up. <laughs> okay. There is hey, no Royce. parallel to the food you will find here. One taste, and I'm sure you'll agree. I do hope you are enjoying your time in New Atlantis. Well, yeah, but I'm here about a fight that happened at your restaurant. Ah, uh, a most unfortunate incident. Complicated by the fact that both parties were inebriated. While I wasn't privy to the entire argument, Hugo and Octavio have been dining here together for quite some time. So, it was surprising to see them at each other's throats. I need to find one of the patrons involved. Apparently he stole something? Can you describe the patrons? Do you know anything about a stolen wedding ring? These two men dined together? Oh, uh, what if the wedding ring was meant for between them, right? They were trying to marry each other. Can you describe the patrons? Well, the one who stayed with UC security, Octavio, is a shorter man, handsome and refined. Uh, his favorite menu item is the saint, I believe. The other, Hugo Fournier, is a tall, slender gentleman with a French accent. Excellent tipper, well-mannered, but a bit hot-tempered. <laughs> a short guy and a tall guy? Okay, I'll believe it when I see it, but buddy, I've never seen anyone else of a different height in, this, in all of the planets I've ever visited. Everybody is the same exact height unless they're a child. You gotta be shitting me with this description. <laughs> Do you know anything about a stolen wedding ring? I wasn't witness to any theft, and both men were wearing rings, if I recall correctly. These two men dined together? Oh, yes, quite often. Uh, they had a usual table over in the far corner, with all the traditional accoutrements. Music, candles, wine. You see where I'm going with this. But this time the two barely sat down before the argument got heated. Thankfully, security stepped in before anyone got hurt. Yeah, I guess they're not getting married anymore, and thus one took off with the ring. Alright, well, I need to find one of the patrons involved. Apparently he stole something. I assume that would be the slender gentleman, Hugo Fournier. He was the one who excused himself after UC security arrived. I believe he lives in Athena Tower, although he may be checking out soon, but I would start there. Oh, it's seen a tower. Okay. Sure. Enjoy the rest of your How do you know about where he lives? Okay. I'm gonna call the luggage. Alright, I've seen a tower it is. Let's head on over. Looks like it's right over there, huh? Yeah. Lucky us. Just staying off the grass. There we go. Oh, these are slides. Huh. Weird. Okay. There are not very many children in the New Atlantis, it's got to be said. All right, relative to how many people are up here. I feel like, yeah, maybe even we've seen more kids in the well than we have seen here in New Atlantis proper. I'm not sure. Or maybe roughly the same amount. I'm not sure. Okay. Athena Tower. Unfortunate uh, color scheme, especially when you're so close to the Chunks building. <laughs> Last minute check. Breath? Check. Shower? Hair? Check and double check. Lucky shed. It's never let me down. You are ready for some shock and awe, girlfriend. He wants no what's hit him. Mm. I think this guy may be the one. All right, Hugo. Yes. Oh, I can't believe that Octavio. That liar, that manipulator, that, that... That dirty, rotten scoundrel. Man who's charged you with theft. Go on, finish your rant. That man who's charged you with theft. Yes, the man who... Wait, what? He's accusing me of <laughs> what? theft of the nerve of that Lothario. Five years we were together, half a decade. And he threw it all away for that waiter. Your ex claims you stole that ring. What happened at the Dawn's Roost? You two were dating? 
What happened at the Don's Roost? It was supposed to be a romantic dinner. Our last before we pledged our lives to each other. But an hour before, I decided to do some cleaning to calm my nerves. I picked up a pair of pants he left on the floor and out falls a napkin from the Don's Roost with a number written on the back. Oh to my think god. He had the audacity to schedule a date with me at the same restaurant? I was livid! Still, I went to the date and held it together <laughs> just long enough for the waiter to serve us. Then I went off! <laughs> Still, I went to the date. He was paying after all. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking his delivery is incredible. You two were dating? Not just dating, betrothed. Betrothed? Engagement ring huh. to prove it. Is there any chance you two can patch things up? No. There are some things in life that cannot be repaired. Cheating is his way of saying, I don't love you. And without love, what's the point? Well, your ex claims you stole that ring. He would say that, but as far as I'm concerned, it's my property. He gifted it to me when he proposed. It's not his to return. Persuade. It's still his property. Agreed. There's no crime here. I'll tell Sergeant Yumi you're free to go. Let me think about this. Persuade. It is still his property. I don't care. I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> Look, if only we could have been so persuasive a minute ago. Okay, let's see. Don't test me. I'm stubborn enough to wait here until you give me that ring. Your gift is conditional. It's only yours if you actually got married. I'm getting that ring back one way or the other. You might as well hand it over. I'm getting that ring back one way or another. Well, I don't want to get into a fight with UC security. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, cop shit. I'm Rough them up a bit. Agitated, but I want no part of a UC prison here. All right, good. We couldn't even meet with the other person. Romance isn't dead. Might be in hospice care, but not dead. <laughs> Jeez, you're gonna say that right after that conversation? <laughs> All right, sure. Let's see here, let's check this. Do I not have, yeah, we just have to report back. Okay, can I inspect how it looks? Oh, wow. Whoa, future ring. It's got two rocks on it. What? Okay, sure. Let's head on over here. Uh, we definitely ought to hit up the trade authority as well and sell off the our stolen goods. Okay, over this way. And the spaceport. Good. Lovely. And we'll get this all sorted out. I wonder if we'll get a whole bunch of quests from Sergeant Yumi or whatever. It almost feels that way. Or at least rule of threes, you know. But this shipboard system literally uses quantum synergy software to talk to the hardware. What if that malfunctions? Oh yeah. <laughs> Were they even talking to each other? That person was just venting to them. And they, the person was just hanging out at the fountain. They were just like, yeah, fucking quantum mechanics or whatever the hell. What if they fuck it up? Oh, yeah? <laughs> fucking awesome. All right. Let's go over here. Hey. Officer, what can I do for you? I finished my investigation of the fight at Dawn's Roost. Oh, perfect. Did you manage to get the ring back? Uh, yep. Sergeant Room, Yumi, uh, just another day on the job. Give, uh, give ring. I did. Here you go. Keep ring. The ring wasn't stolen. It was gifted. Still working on it. You can keep the ring? <laughs> you can be the corrupt cop. <laughs> I did. Here you go. Excellent. I'm sure the victim will be pleased to know their property has been returned. You acquitted yourself well again. I dare say you might have an act for police work. Ugh. Here, take this. It's well deserved. All right, thank you. 
Sergeant Yumi, just give me a call if you need anything else. You know, send it through the, the grapevine. I <laughs> have any of your number of spies <laughs> tell me what's up. Actually, can we just talk right now? I'm starting to run out of credits to give you. Whoever said crime doesn't pay? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, come on, Sergeant Yumi. We gotta make sure there's some more crime out there, right? Otherwise, you and me, we ain't gonna be getting paid. You feel me, brother? Hell yeah. All right, do you have any more work? I got time. Not right now, but John Tuella over at Must might. I hear they're looking for new recruits to join the Vanguard. Yeah. I check with him. <laughs> right. Of course. That's it. You know what? That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> that's exactly what Take I was care. thinking. All right. Yeah, why wouldn't we sign up? At this point, why wouldn't we sign up? <laughs> all right, let's head over here. Let's go before we sign up and all of that. Well, we'll probably do that next time, right? Let's go hit up the Trade Authority kiosk here. Can I sell my stolen goods at the kiosk? Let's have a quick look. There we are. Need some work done? Okay. See, I don't think you can. Yeah, you cannot. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Is there actually a trade authority topside here, or is it only down in the well? Can I get to the well from here? No, that'd be too I want to be the next David Baron. Even bigger. What? You have a name. Oh, Tommy. The news never sleeps. How's SSNN been treating you? you know, the world of journalism can be brutal. Everyone at SSNN just views me as the intern, which I am, but I, I want to be taken seriously, you know? I think if I can somehow get my work into people's hands, and then the higher-ups at SSNN will finally start to see how awesome I am. If you have any finished work, I can deliver some slates for you. Really? You mean it? Wow, you're amazing! With your help, people will know my name all throughout the settled systems. Oh, shit. Here. I wrote up some stuff on local establishments and stores. If you can get these into the reader's hands, I'm sure word will spread to SSNN about how great of a reporter I am. Oh my god. Okay. I had no idea this guy actually had <laughs> a <an> quest. <laughs> okay, fuck. Sure, yeah, let's do it. Okay. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Well, we definitely need to get to the Trade Authority before we close okay. out this one. Because I'm, like, quite loaded down with Garbo. Alright. Let's head on over down this way. Good. Let's see. Mass District is what we want. That'll get us access to the well, I believe. And we'll sell stuff off, and when next we come back, we'll do this quest. And then we'll join the Vanguard. I can't help it. I just keep picking up fucking quests everywhere I look, left and right. There's a quest. You have my mission. attention. Okay. Is this it? Oh shit. Oh wait, maybe it is. Oh, jeez. Okay, that ain't it. Maybe on this side. Hey, there's our friend. Hey, what's up? Donna. I wonder if I'll miss New Atlantis when Tony and I leave. You doing okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> like I said before, I love my job, but it can be a lot of hard, tiring work. My last Terracino's worn off, I guess. Okay, well, I'd go get you one, but I'm busy at the moment. Ah, no worries at all. I was just thinking out loud. Don't trouble yourself on my account. Oh my god, what is this horrible Take trilling noise? Ugh. Is this supposed to make that noise? Huh, okay. Security and the Free Star Rangers surrounded. Let's head on over here to the well. Good, good, good. And we'll go pay attention to or check in with Oh yeah! Don't we need to Isn't there one of them down here? Royce Elgin? No, cause you're... We were just chatting with Royce at the fancy place, right? Okay, where is the trade authority? This says exit, but I don't think that's actually true. 
<laughs> it says exit, but don't believe it. It's way up there. I feel like okay. stopping them in the program young is the best way for them to achieve their dreams. That sounds great. Just one quiet day. Not too much to ask for. Okay. The hey. Trade Authority does quite well for itself down here, and clearly they share little of the credits they make. God, I almost thought it was Andresia's voice coming out of your mouth. You won't find a better selection or more real. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. So these, great. Is that everything we had picked up? No, we got like spacesuits or something, didn't we? Yeah, <laughs> the marine outfits. Okay. Anything else? Apparel? Nope. Space trucker hat I'm going to hold on to. Yep. Okay. We're good. Fantastic. All right. Anything else? Well, next we come back, we're going to resolve this little quest here. We're going to deliver these mothers, am I right? But we're going to deliver this shit to various business owners, right? We're going to spread the news, as it were, and try and get our intern really hyped up, but it, I'm I would imagine it will probably backfire in some way, right? And I think we will also join up with the Vanguard, right? Why not? You know, seems like a good plan. Until next time, please take care of each other.